Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with AppReviews.com. Today, I'm bringing you a little news from Apple. So, a lot of rumors are going around right now about iOS 10.3. That 10.3 will bring a theater mode, or maybe even a dark mode, or something combined into what they're calling theater mode, which might include some other features like dimming the screen, uh, making the whites go to blacks, which would be the dark mode feature, and disabling the ringer, stuff like that for when you're in a quiet environment, almost like an improved do not disturb is what I'm thinking it's going to be. I'm hoping it brings dark mode to iOS 10. I'm hoping that's not a feature that's going to come out on the next generation iPhone that they're saying may have an OLED display. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it comes out on the 7 Plus and that you can use it with iOS 10. Sometime before iOS 11 comes out at least, it would be really nice to have a dark mode. Now, there are a lot of rumors going around online from a couple um, people who have been predicting stuff on Twitter for iOS 10.3 when the beta is released. They're saying right now it looks like it's going to be released in January, about January 10th, which is about, let's see, that's about eight days away. So I will have a video come out um, on what iOS 10.3 is if it's something big. It may not be anything big. There might not be any features added to it whatsoever. They could all be wrong. You never know what's going to happen. But, like I said, iOS 10.3 hopefully will include a dark mode. Um, I'm going to link the article down below, one of the main articles down below that I read that was, uh, that was one of these articles where they were talking about it. They said it's going to have an icon, like a popcorn shaped icon that is going to be in control center, which is one of the reasons everybody was thinking it's going to be a big deal because they're actually putting in, or actually the rumor is that they're putting in a control center control, which they only do for something that you're going to activate quite often, um, like do not disturb, airplane mode, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, that kind of stuff. You don't use those, you know, you use those every day so they're in the control center. It's not going to be something that is going to be automatic or something like that because there's going to be, sorry, I hit the camera, there's going to be a control for it. So hopefully it's going to be something big, it's going to be a big deal. Um, but the point three releases are the releases that Apple normally does add the most features um, other than the, you know, 10, 11, 12, the 9, 10, 11, 12 releases. The point three releases have been the biggest feature update releases um, in the past because it is about halfway through um, until the next version, the next full version, um, like 9, 10, 11, um, those versions of iOS come out. So the point three releases are normally a big one, so we are looking forward to something quite big on this one. But this, this has been called AppReviews.com. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to stay updated on all of these topics. And you can check out the new iAppReviews.com which will be linked down in the description. As always, have a great day.